So the plan today is to show you just how simple design options are. Uh, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm starting completely from scratch. So as you can see, I'm just starting with a uh, default template from Revit. And one thing you'll notice is I'm working in Revit 2013. And if you get a software, software package that includes uh, Revit MEP, Revit Structure, and Revit Architecture, this is one big change is that it's all incorporated into one, which is nice in that I don't have to open up three different applications or jump around to get different, um, different tools available. So first thing I'm going to do is just lay out my model um, and get the, you know, the things I know that are not an option. Maybe it's the exterior walls, maybe it's the structural layout. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start out and give myself a real simple building here. So I'm just going to make it a rectangle and I'm going to throw some doors in here around the different sides. And maybe give myself a couple of windows. And I'll also do one dividing wall. It's basically going to divide the building into a east and west section. Okay, so now that that's set up, I'm going to go and basically uh, start up design options. So it's located under manage. You notice right here, everything is grayed out, and that's because I don't have any option sets currently. So if I click on design options here, it opens up this dialog box. So one thing to understand is now editing main model. Everything I've created is considered part of the main model, and these are not changeable, as in as I alternate between different options, the main model is not going to alter. Um, so first thing I need to do is create a new option set, but let me explain a little bit in here. Edit, this is used when we want to select which option we want to edit. Then we have create a new option set. Option sets should be thought of as different parts of the building, so maybe it's as broad as first floor versus second floor, or maybe it's kitchen versus living room if it's residential, but basically these are different areas. So this is kind of like a, a parent here, whereas the options which fall under the sets um, are things you can swap out. So it would be different kitchen layouts, or maybe it's different, it's the east floor layout, or maybe it's the first floor layout and I have different options within that. So we'll create two option sets. One's going to be east, one's going to be west, and we'll create a couple different options under there so you can really understand how these are functioning. So to start off, I'm going to hit new option set. And by default, it's going to create an option set and it's going to create one option under this set. Um, so first thing I want to do is I want to give myself another option as well. So I'm going to say new option. There we go. So now you see option two here. Um, and you're noticing option one is primary. And I'm going to show you basically what this means um, a little later in the video. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm going to rename things so it makes a little more sense as I start to model more things. So I'm going to rename option set one to east wing. And I'm going to create another option set and I'm going to call it west wing. And I'm going to create another option under West Wing as well. And I'm going to call this um, call this straight. I'm going to call option two uh, circle. And basically, it's the walls. One option they're going to be circles. One's just going to be straight walls. So that's basically what that is referring to. So now I have my two different sets set up. So one for the east portion of the building, one for the west portion of the building. And now what I'm able to do is edit these options. And the way I need to do that is I'm going to select on one. I can say edit selected. And right now I'm going to be editing the east wing, which is this side, with the straight options. When I hit edit selected, you're going to see the main model grays out. This gets bold. That's good. We know we got it active. And now anything I draw is part of the option set that I just, um, it's part of the option that I just selected to edit. So I'm just going to give myself some straight walls in here on the east portion of the building. Now I'm going to jump back into that dialog box and I'm going to say finish editing. And next I'm going to click on circle and say edit selected. And you notice the first option straight that we were originally editing has disappeared. So I'm going to close here. And I can go ahead and 
add my circles. And I go back into the options and say finish editing. And I'm going to do the same thing to the west wing as well. And just as a little shortcut, there's a button down on the bottom here that we can quickly get that dialog box without jumping around on the ribbon too much. So I'm going to say finish, and I'm going to say here, edit circle, and close that out. Finish editing. Okay. So now when I'm not editing anything, you'll notice that all the straight walls are showing. And that's because they are set as primary. And that's actually controlled. Um, it's con the, the primary option is controlled here, but the visibility is controlled in the visibility graphics. So if I were to hit close here and look at my visibility graphic overrides for this view, you're going to notice I have a design options tab. And right now, for the different design, the option sets, it's both set to automatic. And what automatic means is it's going to show the primary option set. If I were to change this to say show circle on the east wing and show circle on the west wing and hit apply, now I'm seeing circle on both sides even though that's not the primary. Um, to prove the other point, if I set this both back to automatic, hit apply and hit OK and go back to my design options group and I change circle to primary by basically selecting it, coming down under the options group and hitting make primary. It's going to give me a warning about a relationship error, but that's fine. We're just going to move on and make circle, make primary, close. Now in this view that's set to automatic, it's now showing the circle option because they're primary. Uh, one other thing you'll notice is because I created two different option sets, I can control individually um, kind of how they, which one's appearing. So if you want to have control over east versus west, or maybe even each separate room individually, you'd need a separate option set for each of those, those controls. Um, so we went over kind of broad example of design options and setting up basic options, but let's say you're now at the point where you want to accept the final design. Um, so we know that on the east wing we're going with the circle, and on the west wing we're going with the um, straight. So what I need to do is make sure that my primary options, and right now it's actually backwards, so if we want the circle on the east wing, I'm going to say make primary, that's the one I'm going to choose, and the west we want it straight, make primary. So now that that is set, I can basically go through my different option sets and say accept primary, and what it's going to do is it's going to take whatever is assigned to the primary option, whatever is assigned is the primary option, um, and it's going to add it to the main model. So now if I uh, go ahead and say accept primary. It's telling me that it's basically going to delete all of the straight walls within the east wing, and that's fine. I'm going to say yes, um, and I can do the same thing here as well. Um, but I want to show you one other thing before I accept it completely. Um, as you notice, I cannot select this and do anything with it right now. Uh, two ways I can do it. One, like we've already shown, is if I come in here and then select this and hit edit selected, now I can edit it and select it. Um, but maybe I just know that this wall needs to be four feet off of here. What's the quickest way to do that? Well, I'm going to say finish editing here, and I can say exclude options. I can turn this off. And now I have the ability to select this wall and change it to, say, three feet, whatever it needs to be off of there. And I've just edited that option. Um, one other thing I want to let you know before we um, complete this, this demo video is duplicate. We, if we have an option laid out, um, we can duplicate it and it's basically it's going to copy that option but it's going to take everything that's in that option and create a duplicate of it as well. So if there's just minor changes we need to make, maybe that's what you want to do is duplicate rather than new. Uh, and one last thing is let's say that I'm going to go ahead and say edit selected here and I'm going to throw a circle into my straight walls like this. So essentially what I've done is incorrectly placed a type of wall in my straight option 
on my west wing that I don't want there. So what's the quickest way to get this to the correct design option? So the best way to do this is um, one other quick tool we can do is select pick to edit when we're not editing anything and it'll jump me right into editing that option um, and then what I can do is just select this I'm doing a regular control C for copy and I'm just going to delete it and I'm going to say that I'm done editing this jump over to circle and now I can paste it to this uh, view here line to current view and there it is and now it's part of the correct design option and I can go ahead and finish editing that okay um, so that pretty much covers everything you need to know and just to close this out I can go ahead and say that um, we are having straight on this side so I'm going to say accept primary yes close and now we just have our regular model um, so it's just design options are very useful early in the design phase when you don't really know what you're going to go with or late when it's just uh, kitchen layouts where it's different cabinet layouts or seating furniture layouts where uh, you don't have to worry about turning on and off layers um, uh, or or basically having different files so it's kind of a nice thing and uh, thanks a lot